Hey everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC and this time I'll be upgrading my PC, my personal PC that I use to edit and upload these videos, play games and whatnot. And this time I'll be upgrading it with a bunch of parts that are, you could say, kind of last gen, but you'll see what I mean when I say they're still pretty good and I bought them at a good price. Because for example, I got this Asus X99MWS for just $260. So that's a pretty good price for a brand new board from Amazon. And then I also got the G Scale Trident Z, although this one's is really, really expensive. I mean, DDR4 is getting really expensive now in the price. I got this one at $315, and it's a 32 gigabyte kit at 3200 megahertz. And it's, and it's a gray and black uh, kit, so it should match pretty well with the gray and black aesthetic of the motherboard. And for the CPU now, that's where I got a really good deal because I got this i7 6850K which is an X99 LJ2011-3 which fits in that motherboard and I got the CPU at just $260 from some guy off Craigslist and it's basically brand new, it was still sealed and the reason he sold it is basically because he accidentally bought the wrong CPU so he can't use it and he thought just sell it cheap uh, instead of losing money so that's why he sold it and brand new it's still about four hundred dollars so i think i got a pretty good deal and because if it, it was four hundred dollars then i wouldn't have bought it because ryzen is much cheaper although the another problem is that ryzen doesn't fit in my fantex evolve case since it's just an matx version of the evolve and i want to keep my case so that's why i went with this setup now for my ssd because i'll be changing it to a faster one it'll be the plexter m8 pe uh, with heatsink and it's a 256GB uh, SSD, just NVMe, and it's a PCI 3.0 X4, although this motherboard only supports PCI 2.0 X2, so it's limited to about 1GB per second, although although the write speeds won't be limited by the, mar by the motherboard, the read speeds will definitely be bottlenecked by the motherboard, but I guess I don't have any choices anymore since the motherboard is just an MATX motherboard and I'll be using two GPUs so the bottom slot which I could use an adapter to use this on um, well doesn't have any more space so I couldn't do it so anyways I'll just enjoy the much lower latency of the NVMe drive compared to my current SATA drive and that should be good enough for me since even the speeds almost get a bump of like 500 to 600 megabytes per second it should be so yeah there's that and so I'm not sure if I can video the whole uh, build but I try to video some parts of it and I don't like taking short videos and b-rolls of me building the PC since that kind of takes the fun out of it in my opinion so I might just do like a time lapse of me doing things you know plugging things and screwing things in so we'll see about that but anyways uh, let's get on to it and I'll put on my glasses on to make things more accurate and I'll put on my gloves too and so let's get on to it
So everyone, so it's actually been a few days since the time lapse belt or upgrade of my PC, and for one reason, because as you might have seen from the title, I have a bit of a problem with the motherboard. So basically, I got it all in and tested it out, and turns out that one of the dim slots, the D slot over here doesn't recognize the RAM that's put in, in that slot and yes I've tried moving the RAM sticks around tried just using that slot alone it still doesn't work and I found online that sometimes it may be like G-Skill and Asus compatibility but those posts and forums are really old so I doubt it and I I mean all those posts they mentioned that if they use just one stick of the G-Skill RAM it'll work but it doesn't work with mine it still doesn't recognize it so I'm pretty sure the motherboard is broken and unfortunately I don't have a way to test it outside before I build it which is why I built it and then realized it doesn't work so I'm gonna have to return this motherboard to Amazon where I bought it but I've already ordered a replacement motherboard which will come in tomorrow so hopefully that one will work right and yeah but I mean at least uh, I can see now that the motherboard looks really cool in my opinion you can see that heat pipe and that heat sinks those two heat sinks I think it looks really cool and I think the RAM sticks match up really well like the grey and white accents although you can't really see it in the camera since well it's quite dark inside but yeah and you know the funny thing is that the motherboard actually sort of detects the RAM stick because since in CPU Z well right now I only have three of the sticks plugged in but it's really weird since when I got all four plugged in and yeah, as you can see, I got the 6850K overclock to 4.4 gigahertz already at 1.37 volt, and that seems to be pretty stable so far. But I'm not really pushing it that hard uh, so far uh, yet, since I'm waiting for a new motherboard. But yeah, anyways, if I go to the memory tab, if I use all four sticks, it would say actually it would actually say quad channel, and that's kind of weird since in here it will also show the fourth stick on the fourth slot but it doesn't recognize it in windows like if you open test manager and if you go to the memory tab it'll just show like this and it'll just show three out of four but in cpu z you can see in the cpu in the spd tab that and then and you can see it on the fourth slot oops over here and it would actually show up here and it would actually say quad channel here and even in IDA, IDA, well, here we go. Oops, I guess I uninstalled it or something. But even in IDA 64, it would actually show I have quad channel and I have all of those G skill RAM detected, but it actually doesn't register and show up in Windows. So I don't know what's up with that. Uh, and this is a fresh install of Windows, of course. And also same thing in the BIOS, it doesn't say that there's um, 32 gigabytes of RAM, but it would say that I have all, all four sticks populated, so it doesn't really make any sense to me. It might be some kind of a bad trace in my motherboard, so some kind of uh, manufacturing defect that makes, makes one of the traces from the CPU to the memory uh, not connected or something, but I'm not so sure. So yeah, for now I'm just... Uh, gonna wait for the new motherboard and then uh, stick this in and hope it all works then but for now that's it um, I guess not much I can do right now but yeah and I mean okay I guess I can say that this RAM really looks cool I mean look at that like brushed aluminium look and gunmetal gray and then the black top it looks really good <laughs> and I really can't wait to use it I really can't wait to be done with this and try overclocking my 6850K even further. And it seems like the HADI V2 is coping with that pretty well, so I'm happy with that. And I haven't even used my more expensive pace. I just used a ProLimitec PK3 from my MK26 cooler that I got. So, yeah, but 
that's it for this video thank you for watching um hope you enjoyed this video at least the first part of it and yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like if you do and please click subscribe if you want to see more of my videos thanks for watching